Good evening, this is Michael Sussman joining you live from the South Charleston Community Center for tonight's high school boys basketball game between the home team, the Black Eagles, and the visitors, the Oak Hill Red Devils. It's senior night as we bring in Louis Cassis. Uh, big one teams want to close out the regular season strong going to sectionals. Yes, sir. Yeah, these are great games to have. You know, there's nothing really on the line. You're just, uh, it's like a preseason game. You're getting ready for the second part of the season here, playoff time. And yet yeah, both these teams uh, hope to make a nice run into March and maybe end up at the uh, Civic Center. Both of them got a chance. Uh, so here you go. They're going to put it all out here tonight and see how much better they can get. Got some fans filing in, a few rows filled here up top, and got some down there in the lower bowl as the Red Devils will go into the locker room. South Charleston playing well right now, winners of seven out of eight, just knocked off St. Albans 59 to 48 the last time out. Coach Josh Daniel is seeing what you want to see, which is a team getting hot at the right time. Yeah, you know, his team is really playing well right now. They've uh, They've meshed, you know, they had some new pieces there this year. So those guys have meshed, and they're playing really well right now. They're very tough to handle. And you got Oak Hill coming in 7-10 and 10 on the season. They just knocked off Pikeview in one of the better defensive games that Coach Benitez Jackson has seen all season. They knocked down 10 three-pointers as well. Uh, Oak Hill going to face Woodrow Wilson uh, in their sectional competition. Uh, what do you see from, from Coach Jackson's squad? Uh, you know, I know Coach Jackson was a little upset with uh, how the season's gone so far. I think he expected a little more, but, uh, yeah, he's, a, he's got some young pieces. He's trying to mesh with his older guys in there, and it, it can be tough to do that at times. And I know this, last year going into sectionals, never expected much. In fact, I think they were the four seed in their section, and they made a run, and they were one game away from getting to that state uh, state tournament down there in Charleston. And, uh, it was actually Josh Daniels' team that uh, – Knocked him out of it in the region. <laughs> Got senior day going on right now. Number one, Maurice Jones being honored. He has made many sacrifices to be in the position. He is senior day means a lot. It's tough for these kids. He loves the game. Try to put it all in perspective and wrap up their career. Yeah, you know, you look back and you know, I know when I was coaching, we could always tell parents, you know, Lowe, you number four. just enjoy your kids right now. He was escorted by his over. grandmother. And this is one that I had a pleasure knowing for He's a long time. He's played basketball since he was six years, six years old. He's been with us for three years. His favorite He's basketball memory is being able to get back to the community through the sport of basketball. He will miss the friendships that he's created through basketball over the years. After high school, he plans to attend the University of Charleston to major in business analytics. He is proud of and should be that he will graduate with a GPA above a 4.0. So you're getting ready for sectionals. If you're a coach, Green, you, you were there uh, next to one of the all-time greats. What do you want to see your team doing right now? Uh, right now, right now, I, I, we expect our kids to be playing at their top level. Um, they're, you, the little mental mistakes, they've got to be in the past now. You can't have those. You can't have that slippage uh, as you're going into the playoffs. And, yeah, everybody wants to have a couple wins going into it. So, yeah, you got a few different reasons you want to play well in these games, but uh, the amount of confidence you can gain right now is huge going into the playoff start next week because when you get in that playoff environment, you know, anything can happen, upsets happen all the time, and you just want your team playing, you know, hitting on all cylinders. Going to look at some of the players in action tonight. We'll begin with a couple on the home side. South Charleston, uh, Dejan Reed, really versatile player. He can fly up and down the floor, uh, shooting around 40% from three-point range, too, and put on a show when we were, when we were here last time against Capital. Uh, just what does he give the Black Eagles? Really impressive player. Yeah, he's, he's so tough to deal with. He's so long and athletic, and you know, he's one of those kids that when he's in the gym, he's in range. He can put it up from anywhere on the court, and it goes in a lot of the time. You said 40% from three. Um, but at the same time, if you run out at him, he can blow right by you and get to the basket. So he's just a mess to deal with. And when he's playing well, South Charleston is a really difficult team to, to defend. 
and the number 11, Roman Kellema Jr. He might tear the rim off the basket. Uh, watch out for him flying through the air. <laughs> yeah, I've, I think I've seen him dunk more basketballs than I've ever seen a kid dunk in high school. <laughs> uh, yeah, Roman's having a really good uh, junior year. He's uh, definitely come on. He's taken on his uh, new role this year. Uh, one of the team leaders and one of the guys that's been here. And uh, when he gets that ball down low, he, watch out. Watch out. He will explode up to that rim. He'll rip it down. And then, uh, you know, I was down at the Parmar. I was actually working over there. And he had come. He had to come out of the game because he actually blew one of his shoes out. And I hadn't seen that in a long time. But he had separated the sole from the rest of the shoe. And I guess that's what it's like to be able to do those things. You're tough on the shoes. And, you know, Roman, is a, he does a great job in there both offensively and defensively. And looking at Oak Hill, as you see some pretty impressive gymnastics down there, uh, number 12, Malachi Lewis, averaging 18 points per game. Yeah, Malachi can do a lot for this club. Uh, you know, he's, he is very versatile. He can get to the basket, gets to the basket really well, uh, shoots it from the outside really well. Um, and, and it's really for him, he's trying to take that next step of not only him playing well, but making everybody else on the floor around him better. Yeah, that's one thing you gotta you need out of your point guard. You gotta have a guy that can make everybody else better, and and I think that's what he's working on, trying to get to. And you know, right now you're in crunch time. So about a week from now, you're gonna be play, they're gonna be playing in Beckley, and they're gonna need him to make everybody else better. Look out for number three, Andre Wright and Levi Kiska, the other two leading scorers for the Red Devils. Uh, got a few minutes still, Tip. We'll take our first break. You are watching high school basketball on the HD Media Game Day app. Hi, I'm Ben Nickel. I'm from Charleston, West Virginia. And when I'm back home, you'll find me at my local Parmar store. We have that Bobcat pride at your local Parmar stores. From food and drinks to gas and more, we have everything you'll need at Parmar. Download the Parmar app and sign up for the rewards cards. We have stores throughout Ohio and we're coming soon to your neighborhood. We are Bobcat Proud and we are Parmar Stores. If there's not a Parmar store near you now, there will be soon. Ball Automotive Group is here for all your automotive needs. We have three locations with over 300 new vehicles available and a great selection of pre-owned vehicles in stock. Ball Automotive has been an integral part of our community, which we have proudly served for over 20 years. With over 1,300 online reviews, you'll see why our customers keep coming back. To see what Advantage Toyota of Barbersville, Ball Toyota of Charleston, and LNS Toyota of Beckley have to offer, visit us online at ballautomotivegroup.com. At Glimble State University, you can discover friends to last a lifetime, professors who broaden your perspective, and the skills and education for future success in a small town environment. At Glimble State University, you can become a pioneer. changing world one thing you can always count on is walker chrysler dodge jeep ram in hurricane you know gene and ryan built their business the old-fashioned way by making friends there are no gimmicks or games at walker just honest fair deals and their method is so straightforward it may shock you friendly service and a huge selection of inventory with more arriving daily when you're ready for your next vehicle take the short 20-minute drive from charleston or huntington to walker chrysler dodge jeep ram just off the hurricane exit of i-64 walker chrysler dodge jeep ram making friends one deal at a time Serving the area one truck at a time for over 60 years, Mullen Plumbing, Heating, and Cooling is in your neighborhood each and every day working to keep your family warm and comfortable. With cooler days ahead and winter right around the corner, now's the time to schedule your home HVAC system tune-up and preventive maintenance. If you need a new system and received a quote from another company, give Mullen a chance to take a second look. Right now we're offering 0% financing on a new Ream home system and includes a 10-year worry-free warranty. Remember, Mullen Plumbing, Heating, and Cooling. Call or visit us online today to schedule your appointment at mullenplumbing.com. Hi, it's Tony Caridi. You know, our West Virginia military veterans are the last ones to ask for handouts, yet many of them are hungry. I invite you to watch a video that shows an amazing monthly program that helps feed our veterans in Beckley and Clarksburg. 
Huntington Bank and other partners would like to expand this program to other areas of our state, and we'd love for you to help. Watch the video at wvenriched.com. That's wvenriched.com. I'm Chris Miller, and I'm proud to sponsor productions like this one that showcase the best of this great state. School pride runs deep here. Friday night lights, crowded gyms, packed auditoriums. It's what makes this such a great place to live and work. So be true to your school. And at Dutch Miller Auto, we're there with you. Because when we build on our young people, everybody wins. I'm proud to lead the way as we bring out the best in West Virginia. I'm Chris Miller, and enjoy the game. And we're back at the South Charleston Community Center. Oak Hill ready to take on South Charleston sectionals loom near next Tuesday. South Charleston Capital at Riverside GW. This is a tough one to get through. Uh, what do you see down the line? Uh, you know, our section's always real tough here in the uh, Valley. You've got uh, SC's going to have uh, Capital up here next Wednesday night, and that one is uh, if you lose, you're done. So, yeah, you're always playing a cross-town rival, it seems like. Uh, it, that'll be a tough one for Coach Daniel. You know, last time we were here, we actually had that game, and uh, they, they won it pretty handedly. So, you know, you want to be playing at your top notch, and it's a great game to get you ready for it. We'll jump away one more time back with South Charleston versus Oak Hill. Sports from across the globe. Join us for Sunday brunch from 10 to 1, Adelphia on Capitol Street. Are you ready to unlock a future filled with remarkable pay, unbeatable benefits, and unparalleled satisfaction? Imagine embarking on a journey that offers you a college level education without the weight of debt, all while earning a steady income. Look no further than the West Virginia Building and Construction Trades Apprenticeship Programs. Join us, and together, let's build a future that's brighter and stronger. Go to ACTWV.org to apply today. The West Virginia Building and Construction Trades, where the future is forged. The HD Media Plus app is your ticket to see all the action on the hard court as it happens. Sam, Sam banks it in! Sam from three! Download it today for free to your smartphone or TV so you won't miss another shot. And we're back at the South Charleston Community Center. South Charleston in the home white uniforms over on the bench and the Oak Hill Red Devils in the road black unis ready for the PA man to get going as starting lineups on senior night uh, ready to be announced. SC 13 and 7 on the campaign, Oak Hill 7 and 10. Ladies what and gentlemen, it's time to start tonight's game. You're going to watch. You know, for Oak Hill, they need to take care of the ball and do what they can. They're, they're definitely giving up some height to South Charleston. They're going to do what they can to uh, keep them off the boards. Uh, for South Charleston, it's just the opposite. They better hit the boards and uh, take care of the ball. That goal is sophomore number 21. Senior number one, Harvey 
Daniel will impart a couple more words of wisdom. Oak Hill going to go to Woodrow Wilson to start out the sectional. Yeah, long time rivalry there, uh, Oak Hill and Beckley. Yeah, tough place to play at the Raleigh County Armory. I've been down there a few times, and it, it's such a home court advantage for uh, Beckley. Really tough to play there, so... Oak Hill really needs to get their season, uh, get everything strapped up and locked down for this game and uh, try to get ready for next week. Correction on one of the Oak Hill starters, number 34, Noah McClung in as Kellum will control it. And South Charleston to begin with the basketball. Here comes number 15, Deshaun Williams, going far side to Martin. Kellum up fake, kicks to the wing, three ball up, and it's good. Yeah, you know, Oak Hill showing a little zone there. It's uh, it's going to be tough to play at with uh, the way South Charleston can shoot it. Callum the rejection as Oak Hill going to clear up top. Malachi Lewis, three ball, is off the front of the rim. Long board goes to Williams. So you get the three, you get the stop. Here comes Callum stomping the bricks. And he'll set up top. He'll work it back to Deshaun Williams, near side corner. And they'll swing over to Maurice Jones. Skip pass. South Charleston patient here. One minute gone, first quarter. As Kellum kicks top key. And Jones, couple dribbles. Pull up, jump shot. He's off the front of the rim. Board controlled by Kiska. Nice possession from both teams there. Good defense from Oak Hill. Uh, patient offense from South Charleston. Just didn't get the shot to fall. As it's top key with McClung, they'll kick to the wing. Man-to-man -man defense early for South Charleston. Looked like we just had some miscommunication there. Yeah, it's a couple of your younger guys there, right, and uh, Conley. And Jones will inbound it right in front of Coach Daniel. And to Shad Williams, they call him Shoddy Williams, conducting traffic. And he'll catch it right back, 6.27 and rolling. As Jones will slow. Yeah, Cullum's wanting that ball down there in the post. It's probably not a bad place to go with it. Straight away, three good. That's not bad either. Six points, two threes for South Charleston. 2-2-1 well, two, two, pressure here. Oak Hill breaks it nice. That's strong. As Wright caught his own board. And would they have a travel on that? Yeah, we caught it and seemed to have possession and fell down with it. And Oak Hill coming up in a 2-3. Yeah, I know Coach, uh, Coach Jackson said they, they just weren't as athletic as they had been in the past. Normally always a man-to-man -man team, so he's, he's trying to figure out some different things he can do here. Williams, two for two. And that's what you got to do against it, pass the rock. That's right. That's right. When you get good ball movement, you're attacking the zone. And get that ball reversed, and it's amazing the shots that you get. Up and under move, wild. Form a clung there as they'll clear it back up top. Noah catches it again. Bounce pass, and they'll slow things down. So 9 to nothing. Oak Hill in trouble here on the road. Not the start they were looking for. And McClung up top, Kellum. And pull up jump shots off the mark. Got a jump ball as Michael Lowe got his arms in there. He's going to stay with their kill. 
South Charleston winners of seven out of eight. Coach Daniel feeling really good about their energy when I talked to him pregame and just how they're playing at this time of the year early on in the season to now. Where have they gotten better? Uh, yeah, they've just meshed. You, you had some new guys come in and uh, – and you had younger players that you, they had some great players here before that uh, they played behind. And so it's really just about getting those guys to learn how to play together. And I, I think that's been the biggest uh, improvement they've made. Uh, when you see that, their defense is tougher to deal with. Their offense is more consistent. It's just tougher to play with them. Callum there with the easy two. Oak Hill going to have to burn one. It's a 30-second 11 nothing South Charleston early back after this on HD Media Game Day. CJ is a great company to work for. We've been around for 78 years. We are an underground utility construction company all across the, the East Coast. We are rapidly growing and we're seeing a, a huge growth in this market, um, a huge need for employees. We are always looking for those that are experienced, those that are trying to get their foot in the door. We have positions for everybody. We offer competitive pay. We offer competitive benefits. We take pride in having a family atmosphere at CJ Hughes, and it's truly just a family company. And we're back at the South Charleston Community Center. 11-0 South Charleston up over Oak Hill, shooting the basketball well. Through the first few minutes, Shoddy Williams with two made threes and just taking advantage of those early looks. Yeah, you, know, you throw in a couple three balls in there with uh, Roman Kellum inside there, and they're, they're tough to deal with. Trying to pass through the press. They can't do it. Low crashes to the floor and called for a hustle travel. Yeah, you hate to see it, but right call made by Mr. Wilkinson. And we'll play on. So inbound by the scores table, Brent Conley. Gonna get it from the official inbounds to Malachi Lewis. The leading score, 18 per clip. Deshaun Williams all over. Uh, so he'll switch hands. Trying to get a Conley screen. Now drives left side over to the wing. Here's Andre right up top. And Noah McClung to the corner. Here's a Conley three. He swished it. He's a big three. Mr. Conley, uh, he's got a lot of uh, basketball in his DNA. His father, Brent Conley Sr., who I grew up with, him and his, uh, his brother. Uh, Brent played at uh, Fork Union and uh, the Virginia Military Institute. A really great basketball player back in his day. I think he tells his son that all the time. Yeah, I'd imagine he'd know a thing or two. Yeah, he's got some, he's got a little knowledge down there. There's Dejon Reed coming in as is number 12, Zane Saunders. As Michael Lowe checks out and the other senior, Maurice Jones. Inbound here for Conley. And yeah, you think about Southern West Virginia basketball, that's some of the best lineage as far as hoops goes in, in the Hall State. No, oh, there's, there's been so many great players come through the southern part of the state. Even a small school like uh, Fayetteville High School that I attended. Right, there's right. A bunch of Division I athletes that came out of there. As Martin gets a tough two, he's got five for the game. And South Charleston back up double digits. Here comes Lewis. Dumping off in the corner, open three. This time well short for Conley. And here comes Reed on the run out. Goes underneath, gets to Kellum. As he'll bang here with the Red Devils, kicks it out. Saunders three short. And long board controlled by Roman. Fresh possession underneath. Good, Dejan Reed, first points. Yeah, it looks like O'Kill's made a switch down here. They went back to their man-to-man. Uh, -man. Foul on the floor. And substitution here, number three, Andre right back in. As Kiska will take a break. Inbound here, Lewis. Lewis will kick it out. McClung yo-yos far side. And up top here to Hicks. 252 and rolling, 15 3. South Charleston leading. Trying 
Just one field goal so far. Conley hit the corner three. He'll pull another one, and it's strong. As Reed will jog it up the court. Dejan Reed, leading assist man for South Charleston. Driving right down the middle of the lane. Number five, Elijah Martin. Seven for Martin so far. Yeah, I think the, the length of uh, South Charleston's really bothering O'Kill down here on this end. Um, just so tough to get around them right now, and once they do, they're just running into somebody bigger inside. Yeah, that's what Coach was primarily concerned about pregame. And if, if you factor that in and you're making shots like South Charleston is so far, it's tough. Step backs off the mark there for right. And long pass all the way up to Roman Kellum. We'll clear it out. 143 and ticking. And to the elbow. Kellum 15 footer good. So he's, he's really worked on his game. Expanded. He's really tough when he can step out and shoot it like that. And a junior. He'll be back next season. Primed to have a, a big time year. As right picks up the dribble. And has to clear it back out. South Charleston really creating problems with the ball pressure. As Lewis draws the double team, kicks to McClung. As Reed slapped it out, it's still with Oak Hill. In comes Jones. And for Oak Hill. It's Kiska back in as is Jacob numbers. Blankenship in there for the first time. So tough inbound here with Zane Saunders all over him. He'll go short to Lewis. Right back in the same spot. It's tough when you got to throw the ball in that corner. You can't move. You can't... Uh, Especially you got a 6'7 guy in front of you. <laughs> well, 53 and rolling. Here's Malachi Lewis. Trying to get on the score sheet. Oak Hill only able to muster the one basket here in the first quarter. And off a double team. It's no good there for Kiska. And here comes South Charleston. 35 and ticking. Reed. Step through move. Good off the glass. That was pretty. That is. That is. Like I said, you know, you run out at him and he can blow right by you. And if uh, he's got great body control in there, Lewis tried to take charge with him, but uh, he just danced right around him. So 20.3 seconds here. Baseline inbound, Malachi Lewis. He'll go up top here to Andre Wright. That's right. Has to kick it out. Up fake. And Hicks goes back to right. Just not much penetration for the Red Devils. Uh, it's like they just can't can't get by South Charleston right now. And just keep, keep running into more and more bodies in there. Eight seconds here. Dejan Reed. Well, cross it over. Across the Black Eagle. Goes to Saunders. Wing three ball. Is money. Ryan Saunders. Barry's at everything going right for South Charleston as they lead by 21 here at the rec center. Back after this with the second court. In an ever-changing world, one thing you can always count on is Walker Chrysler Dodge Jeep Ram in Hurricane. You know Gene and Ryan built their business the old-fashioned way by making friends. There are no gimmicks or games at Walker, just honest, fair deals, and their method is so straightforward it may shock you. Friendly service and a huge selection of inventory with more arriving daily. When you're ready for your next vehicle, take the short 20-minute drive from Charleston or Huntington to Walker Chrysler Dodge Jeep Ram. Just off the Hurricane exit of I-64, Walker Chrysler Dodge Jeep Ram, making friends one deal at a time. And we're back at the South Charleston Community Center. 24-3 South Charleston up over Oak Hill. 
Michael Sussman here with Louis Cassis. Uh, Got to remember to check out Full Court Press at PressVirginia.com. We talk Mountaineer hoops every week. Uh, had Meg Bulger, Josh Yeager this week. It was wonderful. Uh, just got a score update there, 30-19 to 19 years early over Central Florida. Good stuff. Yeah, it's always nice when the Mountaineers are winning. It's nice to see them back and nice to see a couple young coaches on the bench down there with uh, helping Coach Allard out. Both guys I uh, went to school with and watched them play as a student up there. As Riedel, like, uh, go over yeah. here to Maurice Jones. Okay, showing a little different zone now, a little one-two-two look. See if they can't get uh, South Charleston to slow up a little bit. There's a turnover. And Lewis lost control. Open three for Hicks short. I think someone uh -oh. might have got a hand to it all the way up. And it's good for Martin. A little touchdown pass there. Comes Hicks through the legs, goes up top. As Lewis will use the ball screen. And almost had it stolen. Underneath it goes. And it's up and in. Jacob Blankenship, two points. And Jones going to switch sides over here. Elijah Martin gives it back to him. Jones, three ball. Is off the back iron. And fresh possession low. Tracked it down. They'll say he traveled with it. And I think that little hop got him. Yeah, I think so. I think uh, the other thing, when, when the score gets like this, an official in a, inadvertently looks for uh, a little help here and there. And he got a couple theories with the former assistant coach. Yeah, nobody wants to watch it get too bad, so... Uh, right now, Oakhill struggling a little bit. So far, a little better start. They got a basket here. Hopefully they can put a few more together and give us a game to watch. 26-5. Here's Hicks. Uh, go over to right, right, dribble drive. Good. Driving left side, finishing with the right. 26-7. Well, so far, Oakhill's getting what they want out of this 1-2-2. Two, two. You've, you've seen... Uh, South Charleston come up and their guard has to stop and look over to the coach to figure it out. So they're slowing them up a little bit with it, if nothing else. Deep three, Reed, good. And yeah, that's a backbreaker that. if you're Oak Hill. That is. That is. You get a little run in there, and but that's, that's the quality of this team they're playing. Give Reed seven points. It's 29-7. As Hicks will move left side, pitches backwards. Malachi Lewis into the chest of Reed. And it's off Dejan. It'll stay on that end of the floor. We were talking a little bit in the break there. Home court advantage in these playoffs is going to be so important, whether you got to go to South Hills or, or go to this place, which can be a madhouse as well. Yeah, you know, it's, it's going to be really tough. You, you look at it, uh, South Charleston and Capital played twice this season, and both times the home team won. Um, so it really makes a big difference. Uh, South Charleston will have Capital down here in the first round on Wednesday night. So I'm sure Coach, uh, Coach Daniel's real excited about that. And then uh, and Jones rattles around and good. You know, when you get in those big games, it's it, the team that settles settles their nerves down first and starts playing basketball, they usually have a big advantage. And when you're sitting at home, it's a lot easier to do that. As Wright will fire from the wing, it's off the mark. And Saunders clears. Good block out. Dejan Reed through the legs. Draws the double. Skip pass goes low. 4.43 and ticking second quarter. Saunders airballed. They'll keep it in. Here's Deshaun Williams. Floater off the mark. And here come the Red Devils. Levi Kiska. Oh. Here's Reed. Right down Broadway. Good on the lane. Oh. And that's what you can't have if you're a kill. You, know, you, you make a good defensive effort and you get a steal and then you turn the ball over and they get a layup. That's just a, that's a killer. As Lewis cut off by Williams, faces and goes towards the Black Eagle. They'll cycle it through. Kiska, short from three. And Saunders, take it up. 
Bumps the defender. Moving towards the baseline. Going to have a blocking foul call on the floor. South Charleston has a lot of weapons. Every player can take it up the court. You saw Saunders lead the break there. And when you can do that one through five, it's tough to defend. It is. You know, the, the way the way kids are trained anymore, you know, one through five can handle the ball. And, you know, if you're not one of those kids that can do that, you better get in the gym if you want to have playing time in this state. You know, there's a ton of great players that come through the state now. And Kellum Duck. I've seen that play before. <laughs> <laughs> seen that one. But, yeah, to your point, when I played, it was still get the rebound, turn, throw it to the point guard. That Those days are gone. Yeah, I mean, anymore, these guys, they get a rebound, they're all gone. It, it was when I started coaching, that was, you know, look for your outlet, look for your outlet. Now it's you got it. You can handle it just as well as anybody. Get up the court. Let's, let's see how well, – don't let that defense get set down there. Cole Nelson is in for Oak Hill. Noah McClung back in as well as they'll go to Lewis. Touch here for Nelson. As up top, it goes Hicks. And Conley cuts through the lane. Up top, back to Armani. 322 in ticket. As Martin switches on the ball. And stays down. Drive here, Nelson looking for space. Can't find any. Back up to the wing. High three, good. Moonshot, Noah McClung drills it. Down, there you go. Almost scraped the top of the rec center there. It's, it's a pretty high shot in this room. <laughs> Inside three minutes to go. 36-10 South Charleston. Yeah, looks like uh, kill switching defenses again. Went to their man. Got what they wanted. There you go. McClung wrestling to keep it. He'll go to Malachi Lewis. As Reed jockeys him up the floor. And off the ball screen goes top key. Conley straight away off the mark. And Kellum will clear it. Rashad Williams up fake into the corner. And Zane Saunders uh, kick it back out. Pull up jump shot. Williams and strong off the back of the rim. Back up to the scores table goes Maurice Jones. Little handoff here, Nelson. They'll give it off to Hicks. They'll cycle it through. And one on one with Reed. Wing triple McClung looking for another one. And it's off the mark. Here comes Dejan. Into the corner. Martin. Arms extended, able to keep it in. Yeah. Foul. They're on the floor. Yeah, gave him a two hand shove there. That's say uh, Mr. Wilkerson got that one right. Any other sections really catching your eye as far as intrigue goes going into the playoffs? Uh, you know, I'm, I'm always interested. I'd like to see what goes on out in the panhandle. It's gonna be, there's a lot of really good teams out there this year. Um, between, you know, I know I've seen uh, Martinsburg live. Uh, GW heads out there to play Jefferson this week. Uh, Spring Mills, obviously, undefeated out there, or maybe one loss. But, uh, yeah, I'd say it's going to be interesting to see who comes out of that region. And, uh, obviously, up north, um, you know, you'll have Morgantown and uh, Wheeling Park battling it out up there. And, uh, Bridgeport and University in, in that region or in that section. Those are always interesting. Uh, the one that's kind of different this year, you got Parkersburg South, St. Albans, who's been uh, having a better season than they've had the past couple years. Um, and then Parkersburg, they're just good enough to get somebody, and that's a rivalry game for Parkersburg South. And then you throw Hurricane in the mix. That one's always interesting to see who comes out of that section. Um, on the other side, you've had a pretty dominant Huntington team, just won the MSAC championship here uh, this past weekend. Whoa. And Nelson with two there. That's off for Jones. McClung hit in the deck. The official's going to go with the jump ball. And the possession over to Oak Hill. Good hustle play there for the Red Devils. Brent Conley going to inbound. And, you know, 
You mentioned St. Albans there. I talked to Coach England earlier today, and, and they've scheduled tough. They played Charleston Catholic, Williamstown twice, and that was before the MSAC schedule. And just a ton of close games for them. They beat G-Dub. I'd say a team that could make some noise. Yeah, I'd say, you know, they definitely have the potential to do that. Uh, uh, they've had... Uh, As Dejan Reed gets it on the fast break. They've had a good year this year, and uh, it's nice having Coach England back uh, in the circuit. But um, I think uh, the other one, you know, like uh, last year, Oak Hill, they were, they were the four seed in their section, and they went out. They upset, uh, I think it was Beckley in the first round, knocked them out, and then went and won at Princeton. And, like I said, they were a game away from uh, the state tournament, and nobody expected them to be there. As That's Conley's off at the buzzer, and that'll wrap it up 38-12. So we'll go to halftime here. South Charleston dominant at the rec center. We're back after this. Serving the area one truck at a time for over 60 years, Mullen Plumbing, Heating, and Cooling is in your neighborhood each and every day working to keep your family warm and comfortable. With cooler days ahead and winter right around the corner, now's the time to schedule your home HVAC system tune-up and preventive maintenance. If you need a new system and received a quote from another company, give Mullen a chance to take a second look. Right now we're offering 0% financing on a new Ream home system and includes a 10-year worry-free warranty. Remember, Mullen Plumbing, Heating, and Cooling. Call or visit us online today to schedule your appointment at mullenplumbing.com. Hi, it's Tony Caridi. You know, our West Virginia military veterans are the last ones to ask for handouts, yet many of them are hungry. I invite you to watch a video that shows an amazing monthly program that helps feed our veterans in Beckley and Clarksburg. Huntington Bank and other partners would like to expand this program to other areas of our state, and we'd love for you to help. Watch the video at wvenriched.com. That's wvenriched.com. At Glimble State University, you can discover friends to last a lifetime, professors who broaden your perspective, and the skills and education for future success in a small town environment. At Glimble State University, you can become a pioneer. I'm Chris Miller, and I'm proud to sponsor productions like this one that showcase the best of this great state. School pride runs deep here. Friday night lights, crowded gyms, packed auditoriums. It's what makes this such a great place to live and work. So be true to your school. And at Dutch Miller Auto, we're there with you. Because when we build on our young people, everybody wins. I'm proud to lead the way as we bring out the best in West Virginia. I'm Chris Miller and enjoy the game. Hi, I'm Ben Nickel. I'm from Charleston, West Virginia. And when I'm back home, you'll find me at my local Parmar store. We have that Bobcat pride at your local Parmar stores. From food and drinks to gas and more, we have everything you'll need at Parmar. Download the Parmar app and sign up for the rewards cards. We have stores throughout Ohio and we're coming soon to your neighborhood. We are Bobcat proud and we are Parmar stores. If there's not a Parmar store near you now, there will be soon. Ball Automotive Group is here for all your automotive needs. We have three locations with over 300 new vehicles available and a great selection of pre-owned vehicles in stock. Ball Automotive has been an integral part of our community, which we have proudly served for over 20 years. With over 1,300 online reviews, you'll see why our customers keep coming back. To see what Advantage Toyota of Barbersville, Ball Toyota of Charleston, and LNS Toyota of Beckley have to offer, visit us online at ballautomotivegroup.com. If you're hungry late or you're on a date, Adelphi is the place to be. Awesome wings, fried feta cheese, let's all meet and have a dream. Friendly smiles and TVs for miles, Adelphi is the place for me. We live stream sports from across the globe. Join us for Sunday brunch from 10 to 1, Adelphia on Capitol Street. 
you ready to unlock a future filled with remarkable pay, unbeatable benefits, and unparalleled satisfaction? Imagine embarking on a journey that offers you a college-level education without the weight of debt, all while earning a steady income. Look no further than the West Virginia Building and Construction Trades Apprenticeship Programs. Join us, and together, let's build a future that's brighter and stronger. Go to ACTWV.org to apply today. The West Virginia Building and Construction Trades, where the future is forged. The HD Media Plus app is your ticket to see all the action on the hard court as it happens. Sam, Sam makes it in! Sam's from three! Download it today for free to your smartphone or TV so you won't miss another shot. CJ is a great company to work for. We've been around for 78 years. We are an underground utility construction company all across the, the East Coast. We are rapidly growing and we're seeing a, a, a huge growth in this market, um, a huge need for employees. We are always looking for those that are experienced, those that are trying to get their foot in the door. We have positions for everybody. We offer competitive pay. We offer competitive benefits. We take pride in having a family atmosphere at CJ Hughes and it's truly just a family company. Back at the South Charleston Community Center, 38-12, to 12, the Black Eagles lead it over the Red Devils of Oak Hill as we'll go through some of the first half scoring. It's the usual suspects for South Charleston. Dejon Reed in double figures with 11 points. Elijah Martin with nine and Roman Kellum with six. Deshad Williams with two made three-pointers, six as well. And South Charleston's shot the ball well. They've defended well. Uh, I don't know if Josh Daniel has much to nitpick in that locker room. I noticed they're back out here pretty early. I mean, it's tough. Uh, right now he's probably talking maybe not so much about this game, but you got to keep your standard up. You, you want to keep getting better as a team, and that's how they've gotten to this point in the season. And Josh obviously does a great job with uh, keeping his kids motivated, and I'm sure it was something along those lines. Don't play down. Zane Saunders buried a three, as did Maurice Jones, and looking at it for Oak Hill. Andre Wright with two points, Brent Conley with three. Jacob Blankenship with two, Cole Nelson with two, and Noah McClung with three. To your point about maybe not looking as much at this game, but looking down the line, uh, Coach Jackson needs to see a better effort over the next two quarters. Yeah, you know Coach Jackson. He's a, he's a veteran coach, and he's been through the, the battles, You know, not only as the head coach, but as an assistant with uh, Coach Freddie Ferry in years past. Uh, so he, he knows what, he, what he's got to do here. He's... He's going to try to chop away at this lead, but I'm sure his eyes, his mind right now is thinking somewhere in there about Beckley next Wednesday. What do we need to do to give them our, or to give our kids the best shot to win that game? Uh, so yeah, whatever he breaks that down to, I'm sure that's what you're going to see out of his guys. Maybe he's looking at different zones, seeing what they can do, what they can't do. South Charleston, Beckley, you know, they've played a couple times this year, and it's been a really tight game. Um, so they're real similar teams. I think uh, South Charleston's got a little more length than Beckley does. But, uh, yeah, it's a, that's what makes this a great prep game for your playoffs. Um, if you can get this lead down and really give them a half here, the second half, yeah, it gives you some confidence going into uh, next week. I think they still play uh, 
Nicholas County later on this week, maybe Thursday night. And so that's I think that's what Coach Jackson's going to look to do here. But like I said, he's a veteran. He's got a plan, I'm sure, of it. And we'll see what he's got for these guys in the second half. Got a score update from Jackson County, 29-7. Ravenswood up over Ripley. That's being played at the RHS Health Center, the home of the Vikings. That, that game is absolute insanity. That, that is one where you never know what's going to happen. And Coach Mick Price trying to go for the sweep this season. You win that one twice, that's legitimate bragging rights. Yes, it is. Yeah, I was actually, we did FCA earlier today at uh, at GW, and uh, Tim Britton, our regional director, was there, and he said he was looking forward to going to that game. Uh, he said, listen, you better get there before 6 o'clock. So if you're not there before 6, you're not getting in the doors. Yeah, you, you got to love those crosstown rivalries, high school sports, everybody's emotions running high. It's just a, it's a great time for everybody involved. Yeah, I talked to Mick Price earlier on this week. Apparently the Parmar field is already set for next season, a yeah. year from now. That's what I've heard. Uh, I know he and uh, Coach Green met the other day, and they're talking about <laughs> Yeah, it's amazing how many teams want in there, and, and they do a great job about letting the guys know ahead of time, hey, yes, we got a spot for you. No, we don't. And, you know, sadly, we got to tell teams, no, we don't have a spot. But uh, a great event for them, and, uh, you know, I'm looking forward to it. South Charleston going to start to shot. Williams, Dejon Reed, Zane Saunders, Roman Kellum, and Elijah Martin. And for Oak Hill, it is Malachi Lewis, as well as Noah McClung, Andre Wright, number 10, Levi Kiska, and number 21, Brent Conley. Here's Williams near side wing to Kellum. Up top, kicks it. Here's a lob attempt, and too tall for Roman Kellum. It looks a bit confused. Just a little too high. Yeah, I think his head was up there about the rim, so he extended that arm with it, and he was up there. Mr. Reed got a little excited on that one. As McClung will kick it over to Conley. Conley jab step into the paint. Step back from mid-range. And got a foul on the wrist. And Conley going to the charity strike. Yeah, you know, I mentioned uh, Mr. Conley's uh, lineage. You talk about lineage in southern West Virginia basketball. Just look down at the end of the bench there. Uh, Benitez Jackson I grew up watching him. My older brother got to play with him, uh, some of the travel ball stuff. But hey, you imagine this. He started. His brother, uh, Wee Wee Jackson, started. Cornelius Jackson, uh, all, uh, McDonald's player of the year one of those years. And their cousin, Monty Wright. <laughs> and then uh, Jonathan Frazier, Lou Humphreys. They played on some exceptional Oak Hill basketball teams. And as a kid, getting to grow up and go watch those guys play, just phenomenal. Here's Lewis. Bounces to McClung to the wing. Top key. Back out to McClung. Now on the roll. Conley, too. Great action. And he's got six points. Brent Conley. Yeah, you uh, alumni of... Old school Fayetteville High School, right? Yeah, old school Fayetteville High School. You know, it's not there anymore. Those kids uh, either go to Oak Hill High School or uh, uh, Midland Trail High School. Yeah, you know, we miss it, but uh, it is nice to still see the names and the faces around, uh, around those two areas. Williams, three ball good. And he's hit three of them in the game. 41 to 15 goes the score. 6.20 and ticking. Lewis through the legs. Step back jump shot off the front iron. As it's run down, fresh possession. Good board there by Kiska. Baseline drive. Scoop shot, no. Ooh, Kellum met him up top. Looks like some contact there. Mr. Robinson didn't think so. And Williams on fire tonight. Back-to-back -to -back triples, 44 to 15. Oak Hill on the ropes. As Lewis, all pitch backward, 5.45 and rolling. Wing triple, short no good, Dejan Reed clears. In transition, Martin, alley-oop, Saunders. 
That'll get everybody on their feet. 46-15, South Charleston, awfully impressive. Uh, Saunders, old shade, Martin. Uh -oh. It'll be up faking it, go to the ground hard. As right flew into him. I'm glad Mr. Wright got there when he did. If not, there was going to be a poster somewhere. Shout out to our listeners on Facebook. Always feel free to drop anything in the comment section. I see a couple old friends there, Jonathan Britton and uh, Leland Wright, are watching tonight. Big shout out to those Fayette County boys. As Martin will go into double figures, 10 points tonight. Blankenship checks in, and out of the game goes McClung. Yeah, this probably was the perfect game to have you on the call. Yeah, you know, I, uh, I know when I saw this one on the schedule, I wanted to sign up for it just because, uh, yeah, you grew up with all these guys and uh, run into them every now and again, but uh, a ton of old memories down there. Don't get me started. We can talk forever. Uh, most of them would have to be off the air, though. <laughs> Straight away, money. That's Malachi Lewis knocking it down. Underneath it's going. It's a turnover. Here comes Kiska. Driving. And it's off the mark. Here comes Callum flipping forward. And the finger roll good for Deshaun Williams. Nifty little assist there by Roman Kellum. 438 and ticking. And a wild pass there off the wall. I know Coach Daniel, yeah, I'm sure he's wanting this score to kind of escalate quickly here. I know they got another big game tomorrow night playing uh, the prep school out of Kentucky, uh, Wesley Christian here at the rec center. It's going to be, I saw them down at the Parmar this year. Very tough team, long athletic guys, and they've got a few cats that can just shoot it from anywhere. As Martin has his pass deflected, Saunders tips it to himself and clears to the wing. Dejan Reed into the paint. Saunders, hook shot, no good. And Conley cleared it. It'll roll to Martin wide open and another flush. Second one for Zane Saunders, and he's got seven points. Underneath here, Blankenship, turnaround shot, no good. As Reed will take it up, 52-17, to 17, Black Eagles. Throws to the corner, and running out of real estate there, Williams. Checking back in here is Michael Lowe. Check that, Maurice Jones. And number 13, Anthony Hicks. Yeah, I saw Wesley Christian also. They lost to Martinsburg, who's got a really athletic squad. They go seven deep, but seven guys that can take over at any given point. I uh, saw Chase Shipley had a big game there at the Parmar, 25 points, I think. But, yeah, Wesley Christian, they, they present challenges you don't see every day just with how big they are as yeah. that's off. Yeah, it's not every day you roll out a couple 6'9", uh, 6'10", six, six, kids in uh, West Virginia high school basketball. <laughs> So it does. It's a great game to play. I know Josh's looking forward to it. It's a big challenge for him, but it uh, can definitely be um, a big boost for you if you win that game. Martinsburg knocked off G-Dub the following day. They're going to probably have something to say about the state title. Yeah, I, I, like I said, I'm real interested in that, uh, that region out there in the uh, – in the Eastern Panhandle this year. It'll Lewis up and under good. There. And one. That's the Malachi Lewis I remember seeing. Scouted for a few years. Uh, kid, he really does. He handles the ball very well and gets down in there. And yeah, He's just he's trying to, trying to make the rest of his team a little better. But at the same time, I'm sure Coach Jackson telling him, all right, it's time to go. As Reed and Martin came out into the game here, Jones, Lowe, Deshaun Williams, Zane Saunders, and Roman Kellum. Yeah, that's what Coach Rogers told me. He said, if you want to see some good
Good basketball. Come up here. It's a battle every single night. Jones from distance is off. And it's tipped underneath. It'll stay with South Charleston. Shotty Williams pulls it back. 235 and ticking. Near side up fake Kellum. Baseball passes corner. Fake for Saunders off the mark. And a rebound there for Armani Hicks. 52 to 20. As Lewis will let it fly. And that's about to went in for a second. Weird angle here was <laughs> off the glass. It did. Look good from here, but I don't think they're going to give him that one. As Williams going to yo-yo it over to Jones. Jones too far there on the baseball pass to the corner. You see Coach Jackson, like I said, he's really smart now. He's getting, uh, he's getting some young guys into the game. They're getting great minutes against, you know, one of the better teams in the state. This is huge for those kids. And like we talked about earlier, uh, you were talking about the Shady Spring uh, Fairmont Senior game last year in the state tournament. It's at Malachi Lewis with a hit there. Uh, it was a kid that you know, hadn't scored much all season, but turns out he comes into that game and scores 10 points, 10 points that they normally don't get from him. Crazy reverse there for Roman Kellum. Had some English on it. Absolutely. 54-22, Lewis will stop the brakes, kicks out, three ball up, and it's short off the mark for number 13 there, Hicks. Scotty Williams, 115, leads the charge, low, kicks it back to him. Pull up, free throw line, and he swished it. Rashad Williams with 16 points as we go to a minute to play here, third quarter action. Lewis with seven points here in the third. And the yo-yo it over, or at least tried to, but it was out of bounds there. Careless turnover. As Lewis is going to check out, in comes number two, Tavion Little. And Jones lost it. Little one-on-one -on -one in transition. Going to turn and kicks it out. Here's Nelson. Goes back to Little. As he'll look back to the bench. 27 seconds left. I think Coach uh, Jackson's got all his subs in now. And As that's off for Hicks. 15 seconds left. Williams. Out front, Maurice Jones. Go up top to low. They'll cycle it over to Kellum. Five left. Out of the double team. Lost it. And it's good underneath. Jaden Green flipped it in at the buzzer. As that'll close out the third quarter. South Charleston up 58-22. We're back after this on HD Media Game Day. one truck at a time for over 60 years. Mullen Plumbing, Heating, and Cooling is in your neighborhood each and every day working to keep your family warm and comfortable. With cooler days ahead and winter right around the corner, now's the time to schedule your home HVAC system tune-up and preventive maintenance. If you need a new system and received a quote from another company, give Mullen a chance to take a second look. Right now we're offering 0% financing on a new Ream home system and includes a 10-year worry-free warranty. Remember, Mullen Plumbing, Heating, and Cooling. Call or visit us online today to schedule your appointment at mullenplumbing.com. We're back at the South Charleston Community Center, 58 to 22. South Charleston leads it over Oak Hill, behind 16 points from Deshad Williams. Uh, this is a big time of year. You're trying to figure out who's got what. Uh, big one for Charleston Catholic tonight, knocking off Poker. Yeah, it is. You know, they're going into their section. I might or might not have a family member playing for Catholics. So it's good to see them win tonight. Uh, they uh, they play one of the toughest schedules in the state year in year out, and 
Yeah, young coach there who I uh, actually coached against here at uh, while he was at South Charleston, Hunter Moles. He's done a really, really good job with those teams over the years. Hunter Moles, good guy, called the North-South All-Star game with him. Did a couple West Virginia grind games also. As little going to bounce it, flush it up top. He's a South Charleston guy. He is. He is. And I think it was my second year, second year on the bench with him. Uh, and, and his team, and it's the guys he's sitting next to on that bench. You've got uh, – Hunter Moles, Rashad Kincaid, and uh, Devin. Uh, I, man, I coached with Devin for years, and <laughs> his last name. But yeah, they they've done. Uh, they've had a really great group there, and they were a great group here at South Charleston. Uh, had a great run. They had Ad Cunningham on that team, and they were just a handful to deal with. And in fact, uh, my second year coaching, we did not deal with them very well. In for Oak Hill, we got number 42, Thomas Jones. As that's off the mark for Kiska. And the board there for Dejon Reed. Ivan Purdue in for the Red Devils as well. Saunders through the lane. Good. Off the window there, Zane Saunders. And he's got nine for the contest. As Tavion Little going to switch hands. And goes over here to Jones. And Jones lost it off the foot. Going to crash to the floor. And slid across the baseline. It's over to the Black Eagles. Couple substitutions. Jaden Green back in, who just hit the layup before the end of the third. Number three, Isaiah Scott. Check in as well. And number 14 there, Travon Scruggs. As Martin comes out, Reed sits down. And there's Jones trying to put a punctuation on senior night. Scott works it across the perimeter. Aiden Smith defending. One-on-one -on -one steal there by Little. And through the scramble, here's a Jones three. Knocked it down. That's a big hit from senior night. Give Jones six. Second made three ball. Little able to scoop it up. Tries the floater. And way short. There's Conley. Wing three. Is off the mark for or for Smith, rather. Follow-up good for Conley. Brent yeah. Conley flips it home. Again, regardless of score, these, these kids, uh, these young O'Kill kids being on the court, that'll pay huge dividends for uh, Coach Jackson in the future. Maurice Jones, top key. He'll work it across. Here's Scruggs. Working on Smith. Well, now ball screen. Here for Lowe, pull up, is swished. Michael Lowe, first field goal, 65 to 24, South Charleston. And Smith works it over to Thomas Jones. And missed him on the cut. South Charleston. Gonna work with a Jones, pull up again. Maurice Jones shooting it with confidence. And we got a 30-second timeout. South Charleston yeah, going to get a couple guys in. Just a substitution timeout there for Coach Daniel. The seniors are on fire right now. He's trying to get them out of the game. <laughs> got to save a couple of those for the playoffs. Very saving for tomorrow night. Number 25, Aiden Grayley in for South Charleston. Uh, Smith's got it and just threw it behind Jones. One was zigging, one was zagging. Sixty-eight, twenty-four. Three ball up for Scott. It's off. Uh, Smith will push the tempo here to Savion Little, and Little works it up top. Four twenty-four and going. Conley with the defender in his face off the mark, and the board there. Green outlets up the floor. Uh, Scott will kick it to the other side. Here's Little out on the break, half step in front. Off with the left, hard foul. Down for a couple seconds as they'll help him up there. Tavion Little to go to the line. And I believe they got number 14, Trayvon Scruggs. Any good indications there from Morgantown, 49-39 if you're a Mountaineer fan. 
We'll recap it all on Full Court Press next, next week. That's out on Tuesdays. You love to see it. That squad needs a win bat. They do. They do. Yeah, it's been a, it's been a rough year for them from this time last year just about. You know, just you hate to see how things went and where we ended up. Uh, hopefully uh, here soon we'll put some things in the past and uh, start moving on in the future. Couldn't have said it better myself as that's off. Here comes South Charleston. 4.05 and going. Little getting back on defense as it goes up top. Jaden Green from 16 feet. And strong off the back. Board tap to Conley. Had a loose ball foul. Let's see who they got there. Couldn't quite tell. We don't have it on the scoreboard here at South Charleston. As Carter Richardson's going to come in for Oak Hill. Out goes Brent Conley. South Charleston looking for a 14th victory tonight. Obviously well on their way to it. As Jones, one dribble. Gives it back to Tavion Little. Spot up three off. And couldn't run it down. Talked earlier about Coach Benitez Jackson, his brother Corny Jackson on the Marshall staff, right? Yeah, yeah. Corny is uh, a longtime assistant coach at uh, Marshall University and uh, played there and really made me mad one night when, it came, uh, when they uh, played the Mountaineers in the Civic Center and they beat us there. I think it might have been him and his cousin Monty Wright. Still got a bone to pick with them on that. But... Uh, no, it, you look at it, you had the three brothers starting for Oak Hill and then uh, their cousin Monty Wright. And, and on the other side of the court, you had the neighbors, uh, Gene Neighbors was playing and, and he, just all kinds of scrugs from Beckley. And there were so many great, great players that came through. Uh, I used to catch them in Fayetteville at the Memorial Building when they would play there. And, Jaden Green's got three points. Going to try the second free throw here. And it's strong off the back of the rim. Offensive board put back good for number 14, Trayvon Scruggs, his first bucket. Yeah, and that old school gym. Yeah, I keep uh, hearing that Scruggs name, and I just, I'm just curious as he relayed to Anthony Scruggs that played uh, down in Beckley in the 90s. That three balls money. 71-27, Thomas Jones drilling it. As they'll bounce it up top. And it's stolen. Here comes Jones in transition. Jones is fouled. Thomas Jones showing off the handle. Jones, three points. I'll spin the ball. First one's up, and it's good. 128. You talk about getting ready for the uh, playoffs here, and right now, Coach uh, Coach Jackson, they are. They're getting ready for the playoffs next year with this group out there. It's uh, it's always a big difference playing 5:30 and playing at seven o'clock. Yeah, it doesn't matter what the score is. When you're on this court with all these people here, it makes a big difference. There's a wing three up and off the mark. A couple of deflections. Stays with South Charleston. And it's up and strong for Aiden Grayley. Green, scoop shot, no good. Scruggs battling underneath. Got a jump ball. Possession arrow. Looks like it'll stay with South Charleston. It does. So 2-12 left in the game. And floater over the top of the rim. No. Scruggs up and under. Good off the glass. Trayvon Scruggs, four points. Two minutes and ticking. There's Tavion Little. Going to use a ball screen. Kicks it over to Jones. 
Out into the corner. As it's a dribble and a hand. Little jump shot off the mark. Jones, offensive board, fall away with the right. Good. I'll tell you, Thomas Jones looking like maybe he should get some more minutes. Yeah, he's playing well right now. Gets the rebound. And off the mark on the outlet. Just as we said that, Scruggs, reverse Ooh. layup. Did you give him the, uh, the, the commentator curse? Yeah, it looks that way. <laughs> off a screen, here's a three for Purdue. Got a whistle and something on the floor here. I think we're going to be shooting three shots. I think they got him on the arm as, uh, as he went up for that one. So Ivan Purdue, a few attempts here. Tell you, I do, uh, do want to give a big shout out to my wife sitting at home taking care of two kids, one that's low under the weather right now. So if you're watching or listening, thinking about you, can't wait to get home. And thanks for letting me come out and watch basketball tonight. <laughs> I'm appreciative as well. Get to have the old head baseball coach here, Louis Cassis, up in the broadcast booth. It's been fun. We're almost in baseball season. That's right, getting there had the G-Dub coach Michael Armstrong sending me the schedule the other day. They're super fired up over there. Got a lot of other games coming on the HD Media Game Day app, too. We'll pepper it around the region as Grayley kicks back out top key, 57 and going. Over to Trayvon Scruggs, up top it goes. And Grayley off with the left offensive board for, or defensive board for Carter Richardson. As Little scoops it up, gives it back to Carter. He'll flip it to Purdue. Corner three, Thomas Jones is short. And the deflection keeps it with the Red Devils. 34 and going. Underneath, Richardson is fouled. And Carter Richardson to head of the line. Todd Williams with 16 points tonight, 11 for Elijah Martin. As that is good for Richardson, first point. <coughs> and Kellum with eight. I would assume when you uh, when you drive around high schools tomorrow, you know, with the weather, since it's basically going to be a spring day, you're going to see a lot of high school baseball out tomorrow, using up uh, using up those flex practices. Yeah, Got to take advantage of it. Absolutely. Good on the runner. Isaiah Scott able to score a bucket before we go home tonight. Here's Jones driving underneath. Richardson rejected. But he got it back after the Grayley block. Follow up. Carter Richardson, four late points. And the last couple seconds bleed off. 77 37. South Charleston takes it by 40 here at the community center. Michael Sussman here with Louis Cassis. Uh, good stuff tonight. I uh, look forward to seeing what we got in sectionals and the rest of the way. This is this is what it's all about. March Madness coming. Yeah, we're on our way. Looking forward to it. And right after that, we'll, we'll hit the uh, baseball field. That's right. Big shout out to Dan Shreve up top in the crow's nest operating the camera and on the production, Ethan Young, as we're going to go ahead and sign off. This has been Michael Sussman. Have a great evening.